Hello everyone and welcome to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a game that has had very high praise for its story and it's a time travel mech kind of story which I'm all about. Very interested to see where it goes and uh, yeah let's jump in and find out. New game indeed. Please select an audio language. English. Pete, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Yep, evacuating seems like a great idea. To face heavy congestion, proceed with caution. The art in this game looks gorgeous, man. Cool. So. <laughs> May 27th at 4.30pm. Am I inside the robot? You are. What the? Where did my clothes go? Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Was that my voice? It's like hearing myself talking in my head. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Oh, sure. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. I came here to fight, but I don't know how to control any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the sentinel sensors. Thank goodness. You sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Tutorial attack. To control your pilots, move the cursor over a pilot and select with X. So this is the this is the fighting portion of this game, which does not look anywhere near as nice as the rest of the game, but all the reviews said that this is a pretty small part of the game, like 20% maybe, and the sort of visual novel, gorgeous art. 
uh, rest of it is like that's the other 80%. So if you get if you're feeling put off by this first tutorial fighting section, don't worry. That is not the ma not the majority of the game at all, from what I've read. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get going. See how this goes. Move the cursor over the pilot and select. Once the menu's open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm-mounted machine cannons. Aye. So. Action, arm-mounted machine cannons. Attacks kaiju within target area in front of sentinel with machine cannons. Like so. Select action and destroy the enemy using multi-rocket launchers. Adjust the attack range with the left stick to target as many enemies as possible. How do I... Action, rocket launchers, it costs 100 EP, which is that bar under our health, I guess. Ah, and then you've got this. Right, hello friends, eat this. That's my least favorite place for massive kaiju to approach from. Fuyusaka-kun. Number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system. Sentinel number 13. Activated. Nice, that's the other kid we saw in the opening. Another sentinel's been transmitted behind you, Fuyusaka-kun. In Interesting, the game's called 13 Sentinels, but the first girl's is number 15. So the other thing to note is that uh, I believe the battle sections take place like right at the end of the timeline. This is a non-linear storytelling kind of thing. Uh, so obviously we're getting a ton of stuff thrown at us right away. I've got no idea what the hell's going on. You've got no idea what the hell's going on, but we will be jumping back and learning from these different characters' points of view what is occurring as we go through. Select action, then select heavy knuckles to attack the enemies in front of you while moving around, okay? What now? Heavy knuckles. Zero EP. Love to see it. Give him the old boop. I'm on it. That hit. Cut you down. What a pilot. That really isn't easy me. But how? Victory! Juro Karabe's story is now available. Cool. So, yeah, there's there's a whole ton of characters. We're going to start off with Juro Karabe, but apparently it will open up quite a lot, and you can choose to play through these characters' stories in different orders, so different people will have sort of different experiences with the game based on who they choose first and what bits of information they learn from that character's story and how it connects with other people's, and then you'll see an event from, like, someone else's perspective that someone else might have seen from a different perspective first, and so it all it all weaves together, apparently. Honestly, I feel like I'm not doing a great job explaining it. I know this is probably not something that uh, a lot of my regular <laughs> viewers would be used to, perhaps, because I normally play sort of big AAA stuff, but from everything I've heard, the story in this game sounds like it's going to be really, really good, so...
I'm trying to convince you to give it a chance. So I hope you do, because I'm I'm very interested in it. Here we go. Sure. Juro Karabe. A few days ago, Sakura High School, Class 1B, May 1985. 1985 is like the base. This again? The base time. What is going on? The events are taking place, and then there's time travel. Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shibakun. Move and talk to people. Simple enough. Hello. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Kyuta Shiba has been added to the thought cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it'll be added as a keyword. Press triangle to open the thought cloud to select and contemplate keywords. Let me consider him. Shiba Kun's a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? He's gonna love it even more in a couple of days. Some keywords can be used on other characters. When this option is available, a triangle will appear above their head. Use the keyword videotape on Shiba. Here you go. Let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Cool. So it's it's pretty 2D, like there's there's depth to it. You can go like into the background and stuff, but uh for the most part it's you know, you're moving left and right. Hello, you Iori. To sleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Hmm. Is this, wait, so I thought the movie was just the game going, haha, he's watched a movie about Mecha's fighting things and he's going to be doing it soon, but then I wonder if it actually has something to do with the, it actually happening? Interesting, interesting. Consider. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Interesting. Shall we go home, Asami-chan? Uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's... Nenji-kun. Right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but... Yuri-chan met someone special, too. I'm the only one left. Rip. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. <laughs> Deep breaths, Miwako. Gonna have to learn all the characters' names as we go through. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... What about you? Can we talk to you at all? Nope. Okay, let's uh... Wait, where do we go? Where's the door? <laughs> this way? Okay, no, maybe I do need to talk to them. I mean, it is a guy, but... Yuri-chan met someone special too! I'm the only one left! Or is there something to interact with? What am I missing? <laughs> Deep breaths, Miwako. Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. 
Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Okay, really? I just need to be talking yep. to people. Gonna rent it? I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah? It's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. Okay, the one video. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Okay, can I talk to you guys then? Hold on a sec, Miyoko. Did you need... Uh, okay, we've heard that. But can I actually... I can't actually speak to them. Maybe I can wake her up now? Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Hello. Huh? Class is already over. Is she the one that was in the other mech? Rabikun? I think it was, right? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Shared <laughs> dreams. They both were dreaming about this mech situation in a few days' time. What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. <sighs> Sorry for you, Saka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. I should get going too. What? Hmm. I know I shouldn't tease I you like that. But it's your fault for keeping around. secrets from me. Hey, I'm sorry. I'll buy you a crepe next time. That's interesting. Different conversations can continue happening in the background. Hey. Hey. Could you move? Sorry. Can we go talk to her now? From the old classroom, but the new one's not bad either. I can see the whole schoolyard. Nope. No chats. With your teams, they're really supporting one another. Maybe but I should seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy in quick. Oh yeah, why is that? You wanna hang out again that badly? It's about time for me. He's to got go all hard. the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. <laughs> but the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Okay, consider. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. And then talk to I Iori about it? You know, Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right! He was there during break, too. Wait, no, this is Kyuta. Uh, Wait, what was the Uri thing again? Um, she always seems to be sleeping. Oh, Iori was the one that was asleep. Right, 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 yeah. Okay. Hey, Kurabi-kun? So what is it, Sawatari-san? Miwako Sawatari. Those papers on the podium... Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, well, fair oh. enough then. Is it? The papers are on the podium. Aye. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Stack of papers has been added. 
Keyword alerts are displayed in the top right of the screen. Okay, so that's a keyword, but I can't think about it. It's not got anything I can actually do with it. Ah, I can talk to him about it. Okay, I see. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Alright. Is this my bag? Yeah. Gimme, gimme. Additional controls. Hold R1 to fast forward text. Fast forwarding will automatically pause on unread text. Press the touchpad to view the text log. Okay. Good that it will automatically pause on unread text. Options to open the pause menu. <laughs> menu? I was reading forward to manual. And then read menu as manual. Nice. To view the controls. Okie doke. I think we're good for now, right? Do we leave this way? Yeah. Where to? Nurse's office. Okay, start starting to get introduced Excuse to the characters. Me. Gotta learn the names and stuff. Hmm. She's not here. Ah. Well, what can I do while she's gone? I have a read of this. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Hmm? There's a document with my picture on it. What uh -oh. is this? I'll just take a peek. Do it. <laughs> Curiosity. Jiro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Say what? Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Karabe kun. Hey. How's it going? I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shiba-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. You should. Do you have anything else to say, though? Oh, one more thing. Karabe-kun, how is your current condition? Condition has been added to the thought cloud. My condition? You know. Any heart palpitations? Dizziness? Headaches? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. <laughs> Not after what we just read. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Don't want you drugging me. Alright, let's fuck off. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Okie doke. Same day, heading home. The Kayaki Cho Shopping District. Something wrong? Uh, you couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. I'm sure. <laughs> you and your giant robots. A real masterpiece. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? 
The original Dimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? Mighty Kaiju Dimos has been added to the Thought Cloud. A sci fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. I bet the special effects were the first great. In what would become a long running series. In 1954. <laughs> Check. A sci fi movie from the first oh, okay. in what Some things say, like, consider, and some things say check. I wonder what the difference is. Hmm. Okay, well, can't talk to you anymore. Uh, I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. Well, that certainly is one way to try and Maybe argue your case. Sure is popular these days. Right? I even see her in TV commercials. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? Hey, aren't we going home? Wrong way, man. Is it gonna uh, just wall me off? Yeah, okie doke. Come on, Juro. Let's go home. I'm so going the right way. The Aracoon? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Hello? Kaitaro Miura. Miura-kun? Uh, Juro-kun? What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. Uh oh. What the? What the? My oh. hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. Oh, wait. What the heck? Is that a robot? Uh-oh. He summoned a sentinel. Accidentally. Oh, wait. Put it back. <laughs> it looks... Different. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. Uh, did I did that? You're taking this very well. Kino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Oh, you already know about this. Well, this'll be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. I, I was like, you're taking this very well for someone that's just witnessed a fucking huge mech appear out of nowhere. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, shit. He actually totally knows what's going on. And as he's mind wiped me, it seems like. Okay. Okay. I like where this is going. Uh... Mystery files obtained eight. Event archives obtained four. Close results. All right. Ayuri Fuyusaka's story is now available. Nice. Second person. So there's of course our main. Uh, well, I say our main dude. I think I don't think there is a main dude necessarily. It's just our first dude. In the background there, eventually we'll be able to like swap between a whole bunch of people to choose where to proceed. But for now, let's follow the path. <laughs> Iori Fuyusaka. 8.30 a.m. Heading to school, 1985. I'm late. I'm late. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. Whoops. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. I never get enough of that. You, you're literally not holding anything in your left hand. There. Why are you holding that in your mouth when your left hand is perfectly Ew. available? Hey, you all right? <laughs> Guess that's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. 
Kitty. There's a kitty on the top left. Hello, kitty. Wait, are you? Am I who? Oh, no. The morning assembly. An uncanny resemblance. Huh? Did she drop this? A student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. It's going to be interesting to see how everyone's stories tie together. It's like... All one thing. Break time. Yuri chan uh, Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You were sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty luck. <laughs> My bad. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Sup, Kisaragi? Uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Yeah, maybe not the best way to start out. Let's consider Miwako. That's the girl in the middle. Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Aww. And this is Tomi. Hello, Tomi. Nice to meet you. You too, Kisaragi san. Is she new then? Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. Consider? Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Okay, glad it wasn't just me getting the a bit weird vibes. <laughs> Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. <sighs> you sure yawn a lot. I'm sure Are tired a lot. Night owl? Not really, it's just... <laughs> Not a night owl or a day owl. Dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night I was surrounded by flames like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh Not good. <laughs> Is it lunchtime yet? Still out of it, I see. You got something new? Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. <laughs> huh? I wonder why. Well... Instant uh, crush. The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. 
cute guy has been added to the thought cloud. What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. You'll he have more chances. Uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Shall we walk home together? Sure. I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um. You're welcome to join us, Usami chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Oh, I'm all about that. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. What was that? Hello. Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Pretty old. Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. Natsuno Minami. Old building. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. Well, at least it won't matter too much if the school gets destroyed the <laughs> when we get oh. in a mech at some point. That means it's over 40 years old. Seeing as they seem to just spawn, like <laughs> the previous guy, Juro, he didn't even know what he was doing. He just spawned a massive mech. Did that kill people just appearing? Who knows? Is it your class next door, Nachan? Don't worry about it. I have to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Okie doke. Hello. Minami-san, there you are. Oh, a lot of names to remember Busted. all at once. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? Hanging out, chilling. The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Vibing. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I saw a kitty too. <laughs> On the wall. When I ran into the dude. I think I know that kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. I swear so you have. It's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. I mean, we have. I guess. I guess that nap did her some good. I guess she wasn't looking that way. She was focused on the dude she ran into. Break time. Man, this art is so fucking good. Hey, hello. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? It's behind you. Oh, I found you. Hi, kitty. Hello. Come back here. Must what cuddle. What are you doing hiding back here? Must give good pets. Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi's the one we were looking for? -kun. This isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh. Fuyusaka-san? Are they getting together? What is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! <laughs> Wait, there seems to have been a misunderstanding. Ah, okay. I may have also misunderstood. <laughs> Me and this guy dating? 
<laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Strange dreams added. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. And for me. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Yeah, I got an inkling. Like, I don't know. Telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... <clears throat> Class is starting. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Okie doke. So this took place before what we saw with the first guy uh, that was in that scene. We, uh, that was earlier in the day and then we played as him at the end of the day when his friend was looking for the other guy in that scene. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be this big old patchwork of knowledge that we're going to gain different bits of information at different times and we're going to have to piece it together to form our own timeline in our heads of events. Which is really interesting. They seem to be doing it, they seem to be doing it in a cool way and uh, I'm definitely looking forward. Oh, hello. Beginning of the end. Episode 1, Wave 1. Episode 2, Wave 2. Oh, this is a different... Oh, this is a tutorial for the battle system. Okay. May 27th. Design floor? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D forces inbound. Oh hey, this is the go to dude. Like go to? What are these D forces? Daimos. They're the kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D forces would be completely locked out. That does sound good. That's got to be the Aegis system Ms. Morimura was talking about. Aegis, but not a guess. Safe to use? Right. We're only using it to buy time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D Force's invasion point. Invasion point? You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? 
Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Okie doke. Make your way toward the terminal, which is the invader's target. Choose a sentinel and select move. Okay. Oh, that's cool. You can, can see his sentinel there. I've got to do this. And her sentinel. I gotta think. They look the same, I think. Right? The, what now? Both in second generation ones, then. Move to here. Number 13. Moving out. What do I do? And also move to here. Number signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Tutorial, Lost Condition. You must protect the terminal until the self-defense system Aegis is activated. Damage to the terminal is shown in the top left. If this defense gauge is depleted, or if even one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Switch your pilots with the D-pad. Change up pilots depending on the situation. Use these big old rocket launchers for a group. That's it. Got it. I did it. How do I? Please hit. How's that? Wasn't enough to stop it. Oh, our guys are recharging. Okay, okay. They, you can take an action. And then they have a set amount of time until they can take another action. And during that time, the enemies are going to move. Okay. Just watch. How's that? They're down. Okay, that seems pretty good. And then if I can use her here, I can catch both of these in her shooting. I can do it. It worked. Solid. Okay, there's like one more dude over there. Okay. I'm on it. Donk. Okay. Sentinel's still operational. Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? You're in a Sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's Sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my Sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino Kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. Sounds good. He cut off his comms. I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. We made it. Sweet. Okay. Although this map obviously isn't as pretty to look at as the uh, art in the 2D sections, it's definitely going to have more depth to it than I initially thought. There was there's there's more going on with it. <sighs> Takatoshi Hijiyama's story is now available. Okay.
Interesting. So this is the guy that came in right at the end of the uh, of the fight there and said to leave it to him. What have we got in the options menu? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, this all seems pretty good. Quite a nice. I quite like this menu system. The sort of curved look it's got going on. Cool. Cool. Okay. I think that is where we're going to leave it for today. End game and return to the title screen. Oh, wait. No. I need to actually... I assume it will have auto-saved, but let me just manually save. Just to make sure. Data save to slot one. Good, good, good. That is a good start. Gotta say, I'm very intrigued. I'm very interested in where this is going to go. Obviously, this is only the first few characters. I assume there'll eventually be 13 of them. And, uh, yeah, the story seems interesting. I, I am looking forward to learning more and understanding how everything is connected, how everything works. Hope you are too. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel and the buying of games like these as they come out at launch. That would be super appreciated. And I will see you next time as we continue on with 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. Pronounced it right that time. Get me. Thanks for watching. See you then.